hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Deej and today's video is going to be my Drake concert vlog I was supposed to go over the summer but the tour dates got rescheduled yada 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 everybody knows so today is Wednesday February 28th and it's 8 a.m and I have mad stuff to do I'm a little bit stressed because the past couple days I was really congested and I was taking NyQuil and like my normal like allergy medicine so I've been really drowsy and I don't feel like I was doing a lot because I was tired and I didn't feel good. But like you can even hear it, like I'm really congested. I think the weather is also like throwing me off, but yeah, I wasn't able to do a lot of stuff. So that's why I'm up early today and I'm getting shit done. I'm really doing me today. And the concert is in Buffalo, which is like an hour. Well, my hotel is an hour and like 15 minutes away. I'm staying the night in Buffalo, so I have a hotel. I just need to like make sure I have all my essentials and I still have to finish my hair like I said I've been drowsy so I haven't been able to finish it but I literally only have like three rows left to do so I'm gonna finish my hair pack everything up I need to go to Dollar Tree as well I got gas and yeah I feel like it's gonna be a nice little concert staycation and the plan is to leave my house leave my grandma's house at 2 get to Buffalo at 4 or probably like 3 30 I don't know 3 34 and then you know get settled like get checked in and stuff like that because the the check-in time at the hotel is three and then a concert i think starts at eight or nine so i feel like i'm have enough time i'm like going back and forth about makeup i don't know if i really want to do makeup so i'm i'm not even gonna say that but i feel like for the most part everything will fall into place i just feel like i need to finish my hair and then i think i'll be fine so yes let's get this vlog started i feel like it's been so chaotic it was not supposed to be chaotic but you never know what's gonna happen so yeah let's get this vlog started all right y'all so like i said i'm back home and i'm just like finishing up the last things so i have my laptop charging and i'm gonna make sure that everything my fast charger i'm pretty sure i'm gonna take my other phone with me i don't know if i'm gonna take my stanley i'm not sure i probably will take it and then in here I have like toiletry items and stuff and some like skincare, makeup, stuff to brush my teeth, things like that. And then in here is where all the clothes are and then in, in my shoes. And then this one I'm going to put my laptop and stuff. So yes, I also need to put my other load in the wash, I mean in the dryer. And then that's it, we're gonna be leaving. Hey guys, so it's two hours later and I'm in Buffalo. I'm in the hotel now, but I'm not in my room. I'm waiting for I'm gonna be ready. But look at this bathroom. Isn't this so nice? Like, let me give you a little. So cute. So yeah, I'm actually about to get my stuff out the car because I had to pee really bad, so I came in to pee first. Hey guys, so I'm back from Starbucks and I'm in the room and the weird thing about it is that like there's like when you come in there's like two hallways and I'm on the hallway to the left and it's only one room on this hallway and I'm on the first floor. Like my table is just this room. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> I don't know why. Like I feel like this is the room that you would give somebody who's like probably like maybe handicapped or something so it's easy for them to get in and get out like i have no preference on being on the first floor or the second floor but like the fact that only down this hallway is just my room in the corner that like, is crazy but let me show you guys okay so here's the door and here is the bathroom let's get a little view cute okay he's giving one night of luxury over here is um the Hangers and stuff like the clothes rack over here is a nice little um, mirror here's the bellhopper thing and here is the bed I got one bed obviously here's the TV here's a little desk this little sitting area the decor of the room is like really cute I would say and then over here is the window bro when I tell y'all this is the the street to leave like there's no one else on this floor but me but it's fine so i'm gonna take my stuff down eat probably get some ice to fill up my stanley and yeah it's 3 35 right now 
and like i said the concert starts at eight so i'm probably not gonna leave until like 7 7 30 so i have more than enough time to like freshen up and whatnot so Alright y'all, so it's 7 actually, well it's like 6.59 and I chose to leave a little bit earlier just because, yeah, I just chose to leave a little bit earlier. But yeah, so here's my outfit. I think I'm going to show you guys another mirror because this one's kind of sucky. But yes, I successfully got ready. Let me go to the other mirror. Okay, so here's the outfit. This whole outfit is from Shein. It's just this really cute puffer vest. And then this two-piece, it came together. So cute. And then these leather boots. I do have heel boots, but I was like, I'm not going to wear those because who knows how long I'll be happy. I'm going to have to wait to get in there. And I don't want to be wearing heels. So... Yes, this is what we're gonna wear. Way between the bob, I'll be your main one. Let's take this argument back up to my place. Sex from my you, I'm not violent, I'm your day one. We had shit, yeah. It was magic, yeah. Smash and grab shit, yeah. Nasty habits take a hold when you're not here. Ain't a home when you're not.
when y'all turn around and you sing this shit to the top and they gonna send the love back for one last time.
I just got word that Jermaine Thomas is subbing into the game. I just got word that Jermaine Thomas is
Before we do anything else, in this arena tonight in Buffalo, New York, I want you, I got a little sentimental earlier, talking about the work that we need to put in this shit together. We've all, if you out of energy, we can wrap this shit up, y'all can go home and all that shit. Hey, number two is, I don't give a fuck what the fine is or what they charge me, I keep this shit up with. I know exactly how we have to do First of all, Buffalo, you did your fucking thing tonight. I don't know about everybody else. I don't know about everybody else. I think maybe like the first or the second night was pretty crazy. But this is my favorite night of the tour so far. Y'all doing fucking crazy. Alright, girls, who we got tonight? Jack. From Jack. Stolen. From Amir. Stolen. Amir Kier, six months ago. Both boys took in. He's one of the road. I'm doing this. Stolen shit. Brother, listen. I don't think anybody in Buffalo knows what you said, but I, I know what you said. Yeah. You said you moved here from Scotland, Scotland yes. six months ago yes. on a scholarship. Yes. So you're a new Buffalo. Yeah, I've been adopted by Buffalo. I love you. Oh, shit. Well, Buffalo, yeah. make some noise for us. Let's hear from Buffalo. Would you consider yourself like when it You know, I spent my whole night shouting out the ladies that got their shit together. So shout out to y'all. But I'm still gonna talk my shit to the ones that don't got their shit together. And then after that, you can talk right back to me. So this is how we're gonna do it.
Cause he has some like one last song so i ran over there and he like just was like all right good night buffalo whatever and he turned around and he had like a little like uh like a little face towel in his hand and i screamed at him i was like hi and he literally looked me dead in my face on my soul on my father's grave he looked me dead in my face grabbed this towel from from wherever it was and went like this uh, because he's down and I'm up. So he like goes like this and literally throws it up at me and I catch it. And when I tell y'all there was girls in front of me and there was girls behind me all like, like they were like, you know, he's looking at us, he's in our section, like not he's in our section, but he's looking at our section and he's throwing, he threw something. And I said, bitch, girl, I grabbed this towel so fast. Like, Drake is throwing something at me. He's looking at me dead in my face and he's throwing something at me. And you think I'm not gonna catch it? What? And then I felt bad because there was a little girl, she had to be like 14, maybe 13. And she looked at me, she was like, because you could tell she had her arms out and she wanted to catch it. I'm sorry, but if I'm the one who's screaming hi and I'm the one who's getting Drake attention and he's looking at me and he's throwing it, I feel like it's for me. Like, this is God trying to tell me something. And I literally grabbed it and I just started screaming. I was running. I called my sister. I was like, oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe it. Drake threw something at me. Drake threw something at me. And I didn't know it was a towel at first. But then I started like feeling the material. I'm like, I think it's a towel. But girl, Drake said, here you go. You got this for free. Thank you for coming to my concert. Well, he didn't say that. But he just threw it at me. Thank you, Drake. Thank you. So yes i have video but it's not really like it's telling but you could tell something happened you can see him you can hear me and just know because i put on my dad's grave this happened and why did i look up online because i was curious i'm like why have i never seen these before a hundred fucking dollars for a towel but drake said here you go have it for free so here's the front and then here's the back and y'all i'm not even a scorpio i'm a taurus but when I tell y'all, just because Drake gave it to me, this is gonna be my prized possession for the rest of my life. Are you serious? Drake said, here you go, have it. And I am. Good morning, y'all. It's officially Thursday, which means it's time for me to get the hell out of here. So I'm gonna show you guys the room before I leave. All right, so I just put the trash and like the dirty towels over there. Here's the bathroom. I spilled mad water on the floor. Like, I don't know why they gave me this type of shower. Like, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm not handicapped or nothing. But, <laughs> alright. And then here's the bed. So, yeah, I'm literally about to leave. As you can tell, I had a time. I had a great time. And I'm just so happy that I was able to have this experience and I feel like I had a really good time and I feel like it was money well spent. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep vlogging, but yeah. All right y'all, so we are making a pit stop and we're gonna go to this Asian market right here to see if they have my favorite noodles. But isn't this giving, I used to be a Walmart? Like doesn't this look like what a Walmart would look like? And like over here, they have like a garden center. So I think this probably used to be a Walmart and they made it to Asian market. So let's see what they have. Oh, 
and grab shit, yeah. Snap to have a stick and move when you not here. Ain't a home when you not here. Are they growing in your night? I'm saying, I can't lose.